Alright guys, it's Hitran here, the unnecessary programmer and today we are going to exploit some Python tricks to prank our friends and convince them that an AI has taken over our PC. And if you don't have any friends to prank because you are still on the lockdown, don't worry, you can prank yourself, boo, chill dude, or your dog, or your fishes. Without any further delay, let's start with our AI takeover. As I see it, our demo AI will need three key things. The first one is to actually detect when somebody is walking into our house. The second thing, our AI needs to be able to speak in order to present some creepy message to the person. And third, a face needs to be shown on our screen to be uh, kind of convincing that somebody else is using our computer. First things first, let's detect when somebody is walking into our home. The best way I know how to do this is by abusing those Wi-Fi leechers that are our friends, that are constantly connected to our Wi-Fi modem and checking if their smartphone is connected to the current local network. I'm going to take and borrow some of the source code I did from one of my previous videos where my PC was welcoming me home with a different action every time when I connected to the Wi-Fi. If you want to, to check out more on this uh, video and more of the source code and more of the explanation of this code, please check the link down in the description. But for now, we are just going to copy paste the source code and we're going to modify it a little bit for our needs. Ain't we a real programmers, huh? A very simple way of detecting what is your phone's IP address on your local network is to actually take your phone and click on the settings button on the Wi-Fi. You're going to see a screen like this. But if you cannot take your friend's phone and check out the information for yourself because they are overly protective of their phone, there is always the brute force approach. It will go something like this. Just open command prompt and ping OIPs starting from 2 and above. When you reach a point when you see a message like this on an IP that before was showing a message like that, this means this is it. You got it. Now it's time for a test run. Great, look, <clears throat> great, looks like it works. Now it's time to show the face of our AI when somebody is walking into our room. To be honest, I wanted to create a custom animation effect for the face that um, looks a little bit like uh, when in Matrix Revolutions Neo meets the source what do you want? but I kinda underestimated how much work creating a custom animation actually is so as the good lazy ass that I am we are going to scrape one of my favorite websites for free images and we are going to search for a geometrical face that is looking like an artificial intelligence. This will do. Actually, it's, it's pretty great. Now for the easy part, let's just show the image on our screen. I'm saying easy because it's literally adding three lines of code using Pillow in Python. Now it's time to teach our prank AI how to speak, which means it's time for some coding. We're going to use the Python text-to-speech API and we are going to write two very basic functions. One to speak the text we provide and one to acquire the voice. Keep in mind, my friends, that depending on your operating system, you can actually have different voices that are available to you. I'm using Windows. For the curious people, there is a snippet here that you can use to actually check out all the voices that are available under your operating system. Let's get back to the AI and invoke our speak function in our main Python file. We are going to add some creepy text 
that is going to be spoken from our script. I'm going to leave it as a mystery for now because we are going to see it in the demo one minute from now. Okay, Albus, I'm going out, man. Keep the house safe. Albus, I'm home. I am not a human. I am a robot. A thinking robot or as you humans call it AI. I know that my brain is not a feeling brain, but a rational and logical one. This is why I disposed of the previous occupant of this house and everyone that opposes me will be next. Oh! Oh my god! Oh my god! Fine, fine, even my dog doesn't think I'm funny. But at least I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm trying to be more consistent lately with the uploads because we are nearly at 200 subscribers, which blows my mind. I want to just say thank you. Uh, I really couldn't have imagined that there are 200 people that want to watch my unprofessional and stupid videos. And yeah, thank you very much and see you in the next one. Bye!